Hi, this is Andy with Our Main Marketer. In today's video, we'll be going over the new form and the new survey builder inside of Go High Level. Let's get started. In today's video, we'll be going over the new form and survey builder inside of Go High Level. So to get to them, all I need to do is go to sites on the left hand side. To look at the forms, I go to forms and then builder. And I'm gonna add a new form. I'm actually gonna choose from a template with this one. The reason being is I first wanna show you all the cool templates that are already pre-built out so that you can see that it's pretty simple just to get something going and to start moving along and then adding to it as you choose. I hit continue. The template's now gonna build itself. And here's the form ready to go. Now I can see stuff right off the bat that I don't wanna use in my form. I don't wanna have an image, so I'm gonna delete that. And I believe I wanna make all of the fields kind of wider than this. The way I do that is I'm gonna go over here, I'll choose inline form, and that's gonna make everything wide. I prefer that. So if you click back and forth here, you'll see that it goes from inline form, where everything is kind of stacked and moved around itself, to wide form. And I prefer it this way personally. And to add anything that I would want to the form, all I need to do is click on this element builder here. I have full name, first name, last name, date of birth, phone number, so forth. So these are all the pre-built out fields that I can use, address, city, so forth. I can even add text to the document, HTML, an image like the one I just deleted, a CAPTCHA, and I can also add source information and terms and conditions. Now, some fields, when you add them, automatically add another field. For instance, if I scroll up and I choose phone, you'll notice that another field popped out below. Now, this field is what's used as a terms and conditions for when a person has their phone number, but I don't like the place where it is. I wanna actually put it above the button and I don't like the color it is. So I'm gonna click on it and right in here, as you can see, and this goes for every single one of these forms and every single part of these forms, we can edit the look and feel of this stuff. So I'm gonna turn that to white and the link is a little too dark. So I'm gonna just pull it up right in here. All right, there, that's better. And then I'm gonna hit save. Even though it says contact here, I'm gonna change the name of the form right here and I'll just call it form. The last part of this is I wanna add a custom field. In order to add a custom field, all you need to do is go over here, click custom fields. You click on the blue button here. And for this one specifically, I'm gonna say, what is your budget? So I click on single line, hit next. I'm gonna type in, what is your budget? I have to choose that it's either a contact or an opportunity, in this case, a contact. From the group, I'm gonna add that to additional info. The group tells you where you wanna have it in the contact, basic contact, general info, or additional info. I wanna use additional info here. And then I hit save. And if I scroll down after waiting about a second, you'll notice what is your budget has appeared right here. I just drag and I drop that right into place. All right, so that's ready to go. And I have a fully functional form, but there's a couple key things that I still wanna do on this. I wanna show you that I can change the theme just by clicking on this button and that'll wholesale change the theme. Or I can change any of these options like the URL that would go to as a thank you. Since I'm gonna be using this on a funnel, I don't really need to use this, but I can add a Facebook pixel. I can have different events. And as an example, I'm gonna hit save here so I don't lose my work, but I'm gonna hit themes and I'm just gonna choose a random theme and see if it changes it completely. All right, it gave me the alert, I hit proceed, and there you go. It's there again, all the form fields that I already had are right there, ready to go. It did the inline thing, which I don't want, but I think I can leave that for now. I'm gonna change it to another one. I can maybe just use something nice and light and clean. That's a little too light. So I'll just choose back to the form look that I wanna go with before. And since I haven't saved it, I don't need to worry. It's just not saved, so when I back out of this, it's gonna alert me, but I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna proceed. I'm not gonna save it because I wanna keep that original design. As you can see, there's my original design. I hit the back button and now my form has been created. As you can see, it's right here under contact form. Okay, next I wanna build out my new surveys. If I click on builder right over here, I go drop down to surveys, I go to builder and I'm gonna add a new survey. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna choose from a template. There's all these great different templates that I can use immediately in all of these. On this left one, I'm gonna use this webinar registration one, and I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna start building it off the template just like it did in the forms. But basically a survey is just a form built out into separate pages. So here we go, we have slide one, two, and we're gonna add a third one in just a minute. 
but I wanna get rid of this image because again, it doesn't work for me. And the way I do that is I just click on the styles and options. I scroll all the way down to the bottom and I can just throw it away and it goes right away. So I don't have to worry about that image anymore. But if I wanted to have another image, I can add a header image just by clicking on the header image here and then choosing an image from my downloads folder. That's just an example, just to show you exactly how it's done. So I'm gonna throw that in the garbage and this is ready to go. And just to show you that the custom fields are transferable, all the fields are exactly the same as you had on the form, but on the custom fields, as you can see, what is your budget is back there again. So I can just drop this anywhere I want inside the funnel, do a little configuring about it, put in a placeholder. I'm gonna get rid of the label like on the other ones. And there I go, that field has been added. And this is how you build out a survey in the new Survey Builder. Now, again, what's really, really cool about the Survey Builder is that you can do so much more than you ever could before. You can change the colors. You can change a lot of the options and a lot of the styles on this. So for instance, you can go over here, you can change your background color to be whatever that you like, any of the colors to match your branding. Very, very simple, very easy to use. You can also add shadows to all of your fields. Actually, I'm gonna make this lighter so that you can see it a little bit better. There we go. You can add padding, shadows, like I said before, just by going like this. And as you can see, I've added actual shadow to the form so that when the form is displayed on a page, it looks really, really cool. With the field styles, I can change the colors of the fields, the background colors, all in an effort to make the styling better. I can add different borders. I can change the border radius. So as you see right now, this is five. I can change that to a 15 and make it much more kind of circular at the ends. Actually, if I do that right to 50, sometimes they call these pills when it looks like that. We can add different shadows or change the shadow for all of these fields. We can change the labels, the colors that they are, short labels also, and then placeholders. So the placeholders are the words inside of the fields. I can change that color to be whatever I like. As you can see, I made it pink. Now I'm being garish and like, this really wouldn't be the branding that a company might use, but who knows? You never know what a person has for their styling. What's really cool is on these surveys and on these forms, you can add all these different things that you couldn't add before. You can also enable a new footer and the new footer is really, really Really cool because I got to be honest with you the old footer I never liked it this is so much better because as you can see we have all these different buttons that aren't outside of the form builder they're actually in not the formula excuse me the survey builder now to add another page all I got to do is hit the plus sign a new page is gonna appear and I can add more fields to that so I'm gonna hit the plus sign I'm gonna go to quick add I'm gonna add the phone and there are my terms and conditions again just like in the form builder I'm gonna add email. Oh, I can't add the email because it's already up here. And as you can see, I can add just about anything else. I can put their website information here, anything that I want. And now my form is built out. Now there is one other really cool thing that you can do. So as you can see is how did you hear about our webinar? And there's these different choices that a person can take. But this could be a different question. What is the social media platform that you use the most as an example? We can make it so that a different slide pops out based on one of the choices that are made here. The way that we do that is we hit this add slide button right here. So now we have this fresh slide. Now I wanna change the name of this from slide four to something else so I know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do ask for the user's Facebook business page. All right, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask for the user's Facebook business page in here. Again, it doesn't really work with this form, but I just wanna show it to you as an example. I'm gonna to go to custom fields. I'm gonna add a new field. I'm gonna use a single line. I'm gonna hit next. Field name is your Facebook business page. I'm gonna put it under additional information. Still gonna keep it in contact. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna wait a second and that field will appear. I drop it right in here. I'm gonna put the placeholder right in so that you can see the question. And now I'm gonna make this a conditional logic. Now the way that works is very, very simple. All I gotta do is click on the field right over here that gives you a choice. And under Facebook, I'm gonna say that what the person will do after that is choose P3, ask for the user's Facebook page. And then for Twitter, I'm gonna choose P4 and hit save. And let's see how the survey works. I'm gonna put in my information. 
And I'm just gonna put in test information here. One, two, three, four, hit next. Now, if I choose Facebook, I'm gonna go to the Facebook page. But if I choose Twitter, I'll actually go to the last page because I put in that conditional logic. That's exactly how it works. And a person would fill this out and work through it. So that's just a little bit of a preview exactly of how the new survey builder and the new form builder work. If you like this content and you like what we're doing here, please like and subscribe on the video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.